Call Me A Cab. Hi, I'm Joanne, and this is Call Me A Cab, a show about tasting wine without intimidation. Today is day nine of the wine advent calendar where we taste a different wine every day leading up to Christmas. But no matter how you celebrate the holidays, please join me in trying 24 wines in 24 days. If you are new to the channel, welcome. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you're already subscribed, thank you very much and welcome back. Let's get started. Number nine. Dream in Pink Rosé, California. Finally, we have a rosé. A lot of California wines so far. I mean, it's a very adorable picture, but I don't know. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. Ooh, pretty. Mmm. Foggy glass, because I did chill the wine. It's the color I like. So any of you that watch the show know that I am a Portuguese rosé fan. It's got that color. It's got that kind of orangey pink, kind of darker pink color. I tend to like it, but I don't really know how much the color has to do with the taste. So let's give it a smell, see what the smell smells like. Matches your shirt. Nice. It's meant to be. This is a Kismet wine. It smells kind of delightful. Let me see if you can label any of the smells with any kind of actual food <laughs> or spice. Okay. Mm, okay. It has a fruity smell, which is, you know, yay me. Oh, good. And, oh, well, you know what? Mm, to be truthful, kind of a bubblegum smell, which is a food, technically a food. It's got that, like, strawberry, sugary... Watermelon sugar, hi. I'm so sorry, Harry Styles. I can't sing, but you know, that's what I thought of. I thought this is a Harry Styles smelling wine. God, can you imagine if this is what he smelled like? Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, this is a delightful smell. It does have that like sweet, not overpowering, nothing astringent. Can't even smell the alcohol. Like it just smells like sort of maybe like a watermelon punch. So the smell is fantastic. All right, but let's give it a taste and see if it tastes like Harry Styles. I mean, watermelon. That's, that's delicious. It's not my normal savory rosé. Mmm. It definitely has a bubblegum quality to it. It's definitely sweet. Not like sugar, 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 but a little bit, a little bit. Like this with some strawberries thrown in it would be dessert. Like it's just, okay, that's delicious. That's delicious as is. I kind of don't want to pair it. <laughs> mm. And I'm not a sweet person, so if you guys know me, it's not overwhelmingly sweet. It's perfectly sweet. It's sweet the way watermelon is sweet. This has a lot of watermelon characteristics to it. A lot and a little bit of bubble gum. So let's see. Oh God, I fear. I fear. Because frankly nothing on here looks like it's going to improve the taste, but my brain has been drawn to the Great. olive. I'm that's what I was thinking is the olive because I feel like I want to like boost the sweetness even more and I feel like the olive will do that. So I'm really terrified right now, but let's see how the olive tastes. Oh my God. Well, I just went through the roof with the salt on the olive. So uh -oh. let's see what it does to this. Oh my God. Oh my God, it went through the roof with the sugar. It tastes like Kool-Aid now. Oh my God, what did I do? What can I eat? A grape, I'm gonna eat a grape. I gotta balance this out, holy crap. Oh my God, don't do that. <laughs> oh my God, okay. That grape tastes really sweet and I know these grapes aren't that sweet, so my mouth is out of whack right now. Okay, hold on, come back to me, Harry. Okay, it's not back to where it was. It upped the tart, but it saved it from whatever I did to it with the olive. Much better. Oh man, I just say, just have this one on its own. Don't bother pairing it. Just understand what it is. Understand the magic that is Harry Styles and enjoy this wine. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I can't wait to toast with you, so call me a cat.